At least 700,000 people currently die each year due to drug-resistant bacteria, known as antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. A UN report from 2019 projects this number to rise to 10 million deaths each year by 2050. Recognizing this dire threat, the UK government previously published both a five-year strategy from 2019 to 2024 and a 20-year strategy for containing and controlling AMR. Key to combating AMR is addressing the role of the environment on its development and dissemination. However, this has been missing from the UK's AMR strategies. In fact, the UK's One Health report, published in 2019, found that there is no structural surveillance dedicated to assessing the level of AMR in the environment in the UK. We need systematic and routine environmental surveillance to identify prevalence and determine the conditions under which AMR emerges. This will in turn determine what appropriate targets the government should set. More research is needed to ascertain the sources of AMR. This is contamination through pharmaceutical waste and agricultural runoff from crops produced with manures. Two, the pathways for dissemination, for example, soil and wastewater. Three, the exposure risks to humans, animals, and ecosystems, such as drinking water and irrigation water. And then four, effective interventions to reduce risk at all of those levels. SFAM's members are working to tackle challenges in each of those four areas. For instance, in terms of pathways, our members are finding solutions to the inherent problems surrounding monitoring of AMR in rivers. The challenge is that a river's flow and shape are always changing, so it's difficult to make valid comparisons of AMR abundance. However, one of our members is currently monitoring the microbiome of the aquatic organisms within a stretch of the river in order to determine and capture pollution events. Another example, in terms of source and intervention, um, our members are researching food supplements, such as probiotics, to help aquatic farmed animals have stronger immune systems in order to avoid the use of blanket antibiotics. We have identified four actions where policymakers can help us prevent what could be the next global pandemic. So first, we suggest that the government review and be more transparent about how it is assessing and monitoring achievement of the targets uh, to ensure that one, they're viable, two, having the desired effect, and three, include all relevant actors. Second, research has already found that the effects of climate change, such as warmer temperatures and changes in currents, enable AMR to spread farther and to new places. Thus, as host of COP26, the UK should encourage development of international targets that reduce both climate change and AMR. Third, the UK's Environment Bill should incorporate commitments to tackling AMR similar to reasons around those for COP26. And then last but not least, more funding and support should be dedicated to tackling AMR in order to develop interventions and protect public health.